Welcome back, Tony is here. Today I'm flying from Logan Airport in Boston to Albany Airport in Albany, New York. I'm flying a Beechcraft King Air 350i. I'll set a flight level of 3,000 feet once we're in the cockpit. And let's go ahead and get started. So I'm now setting a 3,000 flight level. There we go. Take off the parking brake. And let's get going. Let's lift off. It gets a little bumpy or windy or something. Gear up. Flaps up. Continue for west departure. I will contact you next when you leave my airspace. Boston Tower KH-423, continue for west departure. All right, and I will turn into the heading. Looks like some pretty views outside, so once I get autopilot engaged, I will switch over outside, switch over to the outside view. Okay, so we're pretty much on course. We're not gaining speed as much as I was expecting. Maybe we're heading into the wind. I've got the flaps up, I've got the gear up. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on autopilot. KH423, you are leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Boston Tower KH423 frequency change. Boston approach KH423 is type Beechcraft King Air 3 miles northwest of Boston, 1,700 feet. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Okay, I think I can give some more throttle, that's probably warm enough. Gaining speed fast enough. I'm trying to be a little bit more conservative on the throttle because I tend to push the engine a little bit too hard sometimes. So I'm just inching it up, looking at the dials here, trying not to get into the red. Alright, but this seems to be okay. I'm going to grab my controller and let's head outside. That's a very pretty view. I see a target down there. I wonder if that is a target. Um, that might be worth investigating. Oops, let's go to the drone. And let's set that to high speed. Oh, and I think I will also disconnect from the plane to make it look easier to navigate around and look at things. Okay, so I saw that big target, and I was wondering, is that a target store? But, you know, I don't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. Okay. I recently turned on photogrammetry data, and things are looking a lot more realistic, but there's a lot of lag. I think it's busy dealing with an enormous amount of content here. Probably downloading a bunch of stuff still. So it's very low frame rate. I might have to perhaps adjust my settings. But that does certainly look like a target store to me. Yeah, this is going to make it a lot more interesting to look around because it's for a while it's been kind of, I don't know, uh, synthetic looking. And it seemed like there wasn't photogrammetry data available and at, in 4K, and so this is kind of looking amazing. Let me go back and check on the plane. Okay, going a little fast. We leveled off, so let me pull back on the throttle. I'll go down to like 45%. I should get us to the right speed. Let's reset that view. Okay, yeah, looks like we're dropping at speed at a good rate. 
Again, the lag must be due to downloading my graphics card can handle it. At least I think, I don't know, maybe maybe I'm overloading it with too much data after turning on the additional data downloading. It does seem like it's really lagging. Let me see what it looks like inside. Yeah, it looks that way inside as well. I'm gonna go back to the drone. Alright, now here we're gonna have to reload all these textures, of course. But I'm curious to see if I'm getting the same kind of lag. I mean, it kind of feels like it. <laughs> feels like it's lagging like crazy. I might just be overdoing it on my graphics card, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, the frame rate is abysmal. I'll give it a moment, maybe it'll clear up. I don't usually have this much trouble. Maybe I'll try active pause. And I I don't think I could change graphic settings from here. I think I'd actually have to go over to here. Okay, so this is the stuff I just turned on, and there's only on or off. Um, Data consumption is not that much. It must be something with the graphics, so maybe I need to turn some things down here. Uh, just turning some things down that are um, usually set a little lower. Uh, reflection. Okay, I think these things can go to high. We'll see what that looks like. Epic level of detail, maybe, I don't know, a little lower. Terrain level detail, lower. Alright, let's see if that's any different. Well, it seemed to help. It's looking less laggy, it's still lagging. Um, I can turn on. NVIDIA frame rate thing. I don't see it. to enable it before I started the game. So definitely better. Uh, I'm going to slow down a little bit. Going a bit fast. But I would like to try going back and changing the settings. Let's see if I can get that frame rate up a little bit. set that to 100. Let me drop that a little bit. Um, I kind of hate to turn off volumetric clouds, but I know that has a huge effect on frame rate as well, so I prefer that to be an ultra rather than high, but that's fine. 
do not want to turn off the uh, anti-aliasing because it gets really noticeable off in the distance if, if you don't have hi really high quality anti-aliasing. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, it seems smoother. Maybe that's good enough for now. I can always go back and tweak it later, but it does seem a lot better. Uh, the frame rate indicator's on, it's not connected to the game. That, that's fine. I don't want to bother bringing the screen up again. I do want to go back to the drone. Get it reloading textures. Um, things don't look that great yet. And I was kind of interested in looking at more of these buildings over here. And you think the realism is obviously going to go down with some of the setting changes I made, but maybe it's less noticeable in 4K. And this is kind of laggy itself. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on. Look at all the cars and everything. They look like ants going in crazy directions. Um, that's not typically how cars deal with things, but <laughs> that is pretty funny. Yeah, at some point they need to fix that. It's just a little un too goofy. Um, and look at this. There are cars flying through the air around a building. Um, so it must be a thousand years later. Oh, and then they... They all just came down to the ground at the same time. Hmm. Okay. Well, that's interesting. This is kind of an interesting looking building. You can see the photogrammetry data being applied. Looks kind of crappy from here. Um, what else can I look at? Yeah, so with the photogrammetry data, the downtowns just look way more realistic. Might even be possible to s s see uh, company logos again on buildings. Okay, time to check on the plane. Taking a long time to load all that texture data. Probably had to download some of it. Go to the bird's eye view. I always kind of like that inside view if you're just cruising.
there's that view again. Okay, I would like to go back to playing with the drone. I'm going to hit reset on that. And I'll start sharing some textures. That's really lagging. <coughs> Overall, the frame rate has gone, gotten better, so I feel good about that. Um, seems like the realism has gone down a little bit, but it's not too bad. I think I'll have to continue tweaking that. Yeah, now starting to feel a little on the laggy side. I'm going to reset the drone to be in high speed. And let's just, just do some uh, scouting ahead here. Change approved KH four two tree. Boston Center KH four two tree is type Beechcraft King Air six miles southeast of Kilo Oscar Romeo Echo. Request flight following. KH four two tree Boston Center. Squawk one six four six. Squawk one six four six KH four two tree. Decimal tree five KH four two tree. Bradley approach KH four two tree three thousand feet. KH four two tree Bradley approach continue as planned. Altimeter tree zero decimal four eight. <coughs> that was an interesting view. All right, I'm going to reset this view. Still have a ways to go before we get to our destination. I can see the watt meter on my UPS peaking, so my NVIDIA graphics card is going mad trying to render all this stuff. Seems to be keeping up. Got it overclocked. It's probably not most optimally overclocked. Something I should tweak at a little bit more. It's nice seeing all the rich scenery though. Just everything looks so much better after photogrammetry. But, um, boy did it kill my frame rate. The plane looks a little washed out. That seems unusual. Losing detail on it. I kind of wouldn't mind exploring some of this with the drone. Let's see, let me reset the sky. Must be some farming related things here or something. 
Uh, there's cars there. Okay, interesting. Alright, and then maybe some kind of a city center here? Or no, let's see, what is this? I always hear ducks when you get sort of uh, near the ground. Ah, a little airstrip here, that's kind of nice. She just feels kind of choppy. Oh, it's all the detail again, I guess. Maybe if I uh, raise up in the air, it'll get a little bit better. Almost looks like a printed circuit board or something. Is that uh, two baseball diamonds or something? Kind of looks like it. Hopefully I'm not going to kill my Comcast download data limits with all this uh, data downloading I'm doing. A lot of baseball diamonds. I guess they're really into baseball around here. Strange collection of buildings there. No equipment at all on the roof, okay. Alright, let's go back to our airplane. Go back inside for a little while. Seems like the autopilot's having trouble keeping our altitude steady. Maybe it's updrafts from the little hills or something. I did bring the throttle down and we started to slow down, which we will need to to land. And then I also noticed the barometric pressure was off, so that made a big adjustment at one point. But I was kind of surprised how off it got. Those chimes I heard were it getting off by, you know, 300 feet. Um, that kind of surprised me. Made me wonder if autopilot was failing, but it seemed to be doing okay. So, 
changing the throttle seemed to be the best solution in that case. We'll, we'll be landing soon. I am going to continue slowing down a little bit just to burn off some of this excess speed before we land. Something that I usually wait too long to do. And have to scramble to slow the plane down. To the right, I see some kind of, wind, uh, I guess, electrical generation windmills or something. I would expect them to be turning, but they're not turning. It's okay. Okay, now I wonder if that hill is going to be an issue to get over. Let's see what the Garmin shows us. Looks like we're okay, actually. So, I won't bother changing altitude. Might just get a little close. I was kind of fascinated by bodies of water for some reason. Hey, the graphics card, I don't usually see it hit at uh, 700 watts, but, well, that's actually not watts, it's volt amps. Uh, I should switch it to be watts, but sort of uh, equivalent in some ways. like residential houses, some kind of little snaky stream or something there. Yeah, so it looks like it is going to be kind of close. Um, I mean, I think we're okay. I'm guessing we're going to hear the 500 warning as we go over it. I'm not even going to look from the outside. I'm going to assume we're okay. And just hope for the best. Part of building confidence? Yeah, that was fine. Yeah, there's the, <laughs> there's the 500. Yep. No surprise. But I don't think we're going to hit anything. This tells us, oops, okay, anyway, this uh, this white line, I believe, tells us where we would hit the ground, so I think we're good. Okay, so at this point, I am going to take over from autopilot back inside. Drop throttle a bit more and continue the process of slowing down. correction here. Okay, I think we're over any kind of significant hills. I'm going to begin dropping altitude a bit. Looks like it's straight into the airport from here.
little less thrust again. I'm going to push a little harder the stick to keep us level or slightly descending. Okay, now, now it's getting a little easier. I think I can actually see the runway from here. Okay, I would still prefer to be slowing down, and so I think I will nose up a bit. We don't need to drop any more altitude right now. really need to drop in speed though, so let's, um, I'm just going to keep moving the throttle down further and further. KH423, contact Albany Approach, on 127.15. 127.15 KH423. Albany Approach, KH423, 2,300 feet. Four two three Albany approach. Continue as planned. Altimeter three zero decimal five zero. Okay, I'm gonna put the landing gear down. Okay, and I'm going to put the flaps down part way. Push hard on the stick. Keep from nosing up too much. Okay, so I think our speed is good. I will drop the flaps again. Okay, so I'll put the flaps down all the way now. bring the throttle up because that's going to significantly slow us down if I don't. Okay, so we're entering at a good speed. I would prefer to be around 120 something so I'm not having to burn off a whole bunch of speed at the last minute. Pilot will, the co-pilot will sh contact the tower shortly and make arrangements to land. Albany approach KH-423. Request clearance to transition Charlie airspace. KH-423 Albany approach. Cleared through the Charlie airspace. Cleared through Charlie airspace KH-423. Okay, I'm nosing up a little bit, trying to get the speed down some more. Landing pattern entrance will be up around this height. Albany Tower KH423 is 10 miles east with Quebec to land. KH423 Albany Tower. Fly straight in runway 28. Altimeter 30 decimal 53 wind 285 Fly straight in runway 28 KH423. Alright, here we go.
it's a little slower than I normally will enter, but I'll see if this works okay. I might have to pick up the thrust again. to be descending, so that will give us some speed. I'm going to make my way over to the right side, try to keep visual center on the runway. Too fast. Okay. So I can afford to drop the throttle a bit. some more. Have it down at about 15%, something like that. That probably needs to go down some more. Okay, there we go. Alright, yeah, nice uh, straight in entrance to a nice wide runway, so this looks good. Just trying to find a good balance between descending and thrust on the throttle. Trying to keep the speed high enough for safety, but low enough to land safely. And that balance, I feel like I still need to work on I'm figuring out on my own. I could probably educate myself a bit more about that. I've always been a self-taught person, so I'm enjoying the self-taught nature of my learning to fly tour. I do occasionally watch tutorials, though I really didn't know how to use autopilot until I watched Squirrel and a tutorial on how to use autopilot. That helped a lot. Okay, I'm going to give us some thrust. We're dropping in speed. We're not getting as much of a speed boost out of descending as we were, so let's give it some more thrust for safety. I was watching a real plane landing, I don't know if it was an A330 or something, but there was a voice, an automated voice reading out distance to the ground, 50, 40, 30, 20. I wouldn't mind something like that. You really don't know how close you are to the ground without relying on the Garmin and just um, experience, I guess. Okay, I'm continuing to drop the throttle. may be fine speed-wise. I'm going to drop the throttle all the way down and just see where we get from there. Okay, I think it needs to have a bit more. I think that's not going to carry us all the way. Just so, just um, kind of feather it up a little bit. Okay, a bit more. I feel it wanting to nose down just a tad too much for me. Okay, this is looking good. I feel like Everything should line up here, speed-wise, thrust-wise, uh, stall-wise, etc. Try to hover and get those rear wheels down nice and gently. It's a short runway, so I don't have a lot of time. There we go. Brakes on, nose down, flaps up. KH-423, exit runway when able. Taxi lights on. Something glitched or something. Okay. Exit runway when able, so we'll do that right here. That felt like a really, really good landing. Really happy about that. 
Uh, I don't see a taxi ribbon up there. Am I supposed to take that? Well, it said when able, so I'm gonna get off right here. I guess that was probably just a suggestion. Um, that felt like a pretty good landing. Maybe one of my better ones. Okay, so let's come to a stop. Going to one two one decimal seven K H. Put on the parking brake and contact ground. Albany ground K H four two three taxi to parking. K H four two three taxi to general aviation parking by taxiway Bravo Cross Runway one nine zero Bravo Alpha. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway Bravo Cross Runway 19er Bravo Alpha KH423. Turned on my Xbox controller and for some reason that caused the th thrust to pick up. So you have to be careful sometimes with the controllers competing with each other. Um, Alright, take out the parking brake. I think we're ready to go. Managed to fix uh, issues with my pedals. I have to clean the electrical contacts from time to time. I may hack it and then just solder them. It seems a little silly to have a telephone style, you know, loosey goosey connector connecting the pedals and their analog signal, so I might do something about that. It's Thrustmaster. I was surprised that the construction quality seems really good, the electronics quality seems kind of shoddy, so that really surprised me. Okay, I'm going too fast, but that is why you put the flaps up as soon as you land, because otherwise you can start taking off again really easily. Okay, yeah, I'm very happy with the way the pedals are working right now. Um, it also seemed to help to choose a different USB port. I had it plugged into a USB hub with a whole bunch of other things connected, and it occurred to me with all that analog wiring that it could be noisy, so that also seems to have made a big improvement. The uh, differential braking really helps on a turn like that. I guess it's a little too bad it's not snowing or something. I was kind of hoping it would be snowing somewhere on the east coast. I have not run into snow yet. And it is winter. Okay, I'm going too fast. Gotta slow down. I feel like there's always one too many things to keep track of all the time when I'm flying, and so all I can do is just do my best to cover them all, but I can't keep them all together all at the same time. Hold position, okay. Hold position KH423. I think it was that. I think we can probably... Okay, good. Maybe they've improved that situation. Roger KH423. Oh, and here we are, right here. Let's see if I can make a nice, clean entrance into the parking spot. A little herky jerky. At some point, I will have uh, my experience in flying will be enough that I could have a you know comfortable passengers. It'd be nice if they let you had some kind of simulated passengers in the back. I think that's good enough. Parking brake. Engines off. turn off the plane. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.
at this, there are cars flying through the air around a building. 